how to get motivated and productive the breezy way. Yo, what is going on guys? Breezy here today brings a brand new video and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I just got productive, how I just got motivated. But before we get into that guys, I'm gonna be telling a back story. So if you don't wanna hear the back story, skip to right here, skip to this time and you will go straight to my methods basically. So let's get into the backstory, guys. Okay, if you guys know a lot of real life stuff, I blame on why I haven't really uploaded as much as I want to. And don't get me wrong, it is a key factor on the things that I do because for this month, or not for this month, but for this quarter of my channel, this summer. So from when I graduated till now has been the most best time in my life to actually make videos. And I haven't been making any videos because personally for me, I am used to having the house to myself. When I had the house to myself, I was waking up at 6.30 in the morning ready to film videos. I was ready, like, I would wake up super early, I would go eat breakfast, I would just have energy to record videos. And then this coronavirus thing happened. And then this other thing happened where I link this video up above if you guys wanna go check it out on what really happened. And basically, I just have not been having my usual like house to myself pretty much i've been around my mom the uncle like everything like just things that i'm not used to affecting me and i'm tired of letting it affect me basically so now that i no longer have the house to myself and i basically blame that on why i can't film videos because a lot of the videos that i do have written down are videos that will say require the kitchen, the backyard, and things like that where I can't be in this room if I want to film them. And that's basically why I haven't really been, well, that's pretty much why I've just been sitting in this one spot after telling you guys I want to upgrade my content. Well, my mom is starting to go back to work full time starting next week, I believe. I don't think that they're going to stay full time for a long time. I think that they will end up going back to this one week on, one week off sort of thing that they're doing right now. But while she is at work, I plan on taking my content to the next level. But I also should mention that, yes, from the video that I linked up here before, it's still going on to this day. In fact, you guys know from a previous video, I mentioned it, he's no longer planning on moving out. So I don't really know what to do in that sense of I still don't have the house to myself. But I am no longer going to allow myself to have him limit me on the stuff that I'm going to be filming from now on. I'm just going to just go out and film it and just say, well, forget it. So now the first thing that actually made me want to film this video in the first place this morning was having a clean desk set up, a clean area where you can work at. If your area is clean, you are more likely to be more productive in that area rather than it being dirty. So prior to videos, so now for example, this morning I came in here and I have, and I told myself, start editing the video for your friend. Start filming a video for you because you got to upload tomorrow and so does he. So you have a lot of work to do today because you decided not to do anything all week. Shading myself. Just to prove to you guys that I was cleaning up a little bit, look, my keyboard. I was in the middle of cleaning up my keyboard, dusting it when this idea of being productive popped into my head. I was like, I need to record a video now. Two hours later, I'm still sitting here trying to re-record and re-record and re-record this video because I'm sucking at it, but not no more. Number two thing to keep motivated and productive is to have a, some sort of a schedule that you can see, that you can physically see. No, not something on your phone, not something, something that you can see, something that you have access to quickly, something that you will see, all right? Don't get me wrong, having an app on your phone that tells you what to, when to do things and be productive like that is a very positive thing, but only download the app if you're actually going to use it. Personally for me, I have two whiteboards. I go into like a more in-depth detail into a video that I made a couple months ago, which I will have linked up here if you wanna see that video. But my two whiteboards is one whiteboard is a calendar month and the next whiteboard is a blank whiteboard. Pretty much the calendar month is as you can see it's just the month, right? You write down your days and then you fill it out for what you wanna do for that whole month. Your appointments, your paycheck, whatever you wanna write down on that month, I would say write it down. So now a quick run through of the blank whiteboard. I basically fill out it for the week. Granted, this is my first time filling it out in a long time, but I'm starting it for next week. Not this week, but next week, 
we are going to be doing something because I want to up my video gang. And now guys, the last one simply is music. And I know you're probably thinking like music, what are you talking about? Music motivates you. Okay. Like I don't know how to explain it, but yesterday I was in the middle of editing my friend's video, which is why I didn't finish it because he's, he talks about music and things like that. And he mentioned a album and I was like, one of my favorite artists has a song by the same, like the same name as the album. So I want to go listen to that song. And then I was listening to the Drake pop star and he was all like, last year I kept it on the tuck and 2020 I came to fuck it up. And that just was like, yo, why am I not, why am I keeping it on the tuck? Why don't I just, you know, I'm never gonna get this time back. Why am I sitting here doing nothing? And that's pretty much what motivated me to actually get productive and get better. So clean work environment, a calendar, you can actually see some form of schedule you can see. So if you work better with those little books, get a book. And then lastly, music, three things that will help you mo get motivated. I'm not even joking. The music one will help you get motivated. It will also distract you because after I was done listening to the music and I was going to go back and edit his video, I just couldn't. I couldn't even, I was just like singing like, hey, 2020. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just something that you gotta just basically get your mind set. Just something that I saw also on a website is to take breaks. So be sure to take a break every now and again. Finally says, I'm gonna end off today's video here. I hope you guys enjoyed becoming productive and motivated the breezy way. And I will see you guys in next video. Peace out everybody.